Hello, Hello guys. guys, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Bukumi Bike Crown. Hope you guys are feeling good. Hope you guys are bust like an evil baby. So, guys, I'm here with a guest. His name is my name is Abugas Uche. So excited to be here. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> so, we're gonna be checking out a video together titled Proof That Jesus Was Not Hanged on the Cross and I will accept Islam tonight wow hmm. so let's see what amadi that has to say about this topic hmm interesting let's watch christ jesus wasn't crucified he never died and how can we prove this because this is the only thing which is actually <coughs> excuse me protecting me or trying to retard my progress to become a muslim all my students i'm sure some of them are here they know of my ambition but my aim and the truth is what I'm looking for because I believe a day will come I must turn by the judgment throne to actually testify all what I've done on earth. But how am I going to find that truth? Because it has been told that we've, we, the Christian, believe that Christ died and rose to show to the world that after death there is life. This is the proof. But if I can just have that, Hallelujah, I will turn tonight to be a Muslim. I prove this to you. The brother said now, if he can be made certain that this crucifixion didn't take place, he is prepared to accept Islam tonight. Let us see. Man says, I want to find the truth. But generally, they close their eyes, they say, I want to see the sun. And I don't see the sun because his eyes are closed. And he doesn't want to open the eyes. He's terrified to open the eyes. Nobody can help him. No million sons can help him to see the light if he keeps his eyes closed. But now if he opens himself to say, let's have a look. What does the book say? The book says, Luke chapter 24, verse 36, that Jesus returns to that upper room where they had the last supper. The Christian knows what I'm talking about. Before his alleged crucifixion, Jesus went to that upper room in Jerusalem and with his disciples they had the last supper. So after his alleged crucifixion, Jesus returns after three days. And he goes into this room and his disciples are there, ten of them, ten of them are there. And he wishes them in Hebrew, Shalom Aleichum, same as Salam Aleichum in Arabic. When he said, peace be unto you, salam alaikum, his disciples were terrified. So I'm asking my Christian brothers, why were, he, why were they terrified? They were affrighted because they thought he was a spirit. Am I quoting correctly your scripture? Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so I'm asking, did he look like a spirit? Did he look like a ghost, a spook? They said, no. Then I said, why should they think the man is a spirit where he didn't, didn't look like one? Christian gets puzzled. Because they say he, they thought that he was a spirit. So I said, you see, the reason is that the disciples of Jesus, his Hawar Yun, they had heard from hearsay people talking that the master, Jesus, was hanged on the cross. They had heard from hearsay people talking that he had given up the ghost you know, the spirit had come out, he had died. They had heard from hearsay, people talking, that now he is dead and buried for three days. All the knowledge is from hearsay, people talking. Because Mark chapter 14, verse 50, he tells us that at the most critical juncture in the life of Jesus, all his disciples forsook him and fled. All. So I'm asking, does all mean all in your language, you English man? He said yes. So they were not there. All the knowledge from what they heard. So on hearsay knowledge, if you know about a man who is dead and buried for three days, you expect him to be stinking in his grave. Am I right? After three days, a man should be stinking in his grave. Such a person you see, naturally you are terrified. Because you think he's a spook, a ghost, a spirit. So Jesus wants to assure them that he's not what they are thinking. They are thinking he has come back from the dead, resurrected. So he says, Unzuru ila yadayya varijalayya. Says, Behold my hands and my feet. In me ana hua. I am the same fellow man. What's wrong with you fools? Can't you see? In me, most certainly I ana hua. 
husuni wanzuru say handle me and see fa'inna ruha laysa lahu lamun wa izamun for the spirit has no flesh and bones as you see me have and they felt him and they believed not for joy means they were overjoyed and wondered what happened man we thought the man was dead and buried so he says to assure them further that this is not what they are thinking he says aindakum ha huna ta'am have you got here anything to eat fana waluhu juz'an min samakin wa shay'an min shahadi asalin fa akhaza wa akala qaddamahum and they gave a piece of broil fish and a honeycomb and he took it and he ate in the very sight to prove what there is a ghost is a spook is a spirit what is he proving i am a same fellow man damn fools what are you afraid of me for this is what is proving to them he is telling them that he hmm well what i would say is that what amerita is actually saying is true but is leaving something behind the fact that jesus was actually hanged he didn't talk about that he only spoke about him you know resurrecting you know after three days and no and i think most muslim believe that jesus was not hanged on the cross but i'll prove to you because i think i've heard of those things online and i had to do my research to able to tell you that yes it's written in the bible that jesus was hanged on the cross so um act 2 23 says in accordance with his own plan like god's plan god had already decided that jesus would be hanged over to them the jewish the pilots and you kill him and letting sinful men crucify him so it was actually hanged in a cross let me see this one then um another version said wicked men put him to death by nailing him to the cross that's act 223 so th this particular um part i noticed that amelita is trying to avoid talking about it the other ones was, is actually true the fact that you know god had the last supper with his disciples and later on you know after his death you know he, he resurrected three days what can you say well i think there's a part in the bible he's not quoting see even when jesus um thomas especially after um jesus left the first time appeared um to them thomas was not there mm -hmm. and thomas um, was like jesus came they were like telling you oh we met we saw our master and yes. he was like he doesn't believe. believe then when jesus appeared the next time and thomas was kind of still as he said when he stretched out his hand and like look at the nails where i was nailed look at mm -hmm. he was trying to show so thomas here that look at where um the nails entered it is me you, you get my point so he's leaving some part out of it in this um I've always mostly kind of really, really agreed with most of his because the talks, man actually this... had a, asked a question yeah. that proved to me that Jesus was not hanged on the cross and he was accepts Islam. Why is he leaving that part? Like he's just talking. It's, the other things he's saying is actually true, but why is he not talking about that real thing, whether he was hanged or not? He's, you know, see, it's more like a debate, so he's, yeah. <laughs> I think in this aspect he's trying to win. No offense meant, no, I'm just trying no, to no, say, no, no, no. He, if you're taking, That's what I you're taking, like the, other, you're taking the context, he's not taking the whole context out of, yes, so he's just That's taking I, ones yeah, that favor yeah. the war. He's, he's not actually point. wrong, but yeah. I'm just talking about he's that some yeah. aspect out of it. Yes, exactly. So. Let's keep watching, guys. It's not what you're thinking. And yet you said, no, he is. He said he's not a spirit. You say he is. Amazing, amazing sense of logic reasoning. The man is telling you, I'm not, you say he is. Jesus says, I'm not God, I'm a servant of God, you say, no, he's God. Jesus says, I don't know about the Yomar Kiyama, they say, no, he knows. Jesus says, I can't do everything of my own self, they say, no, he can do everything. I say, what's wrong with you people? The man is telling you, I don't know. The man is telling you, I'm the same fellow. And you say, no, he's a spirit. He says, he's not a spirit, you say, he's a spirit. I want to know whether you understand English. I don't know Ghanaian, as I told you in the Ghanaian language. Okay. A spirit has no flesh and bones. Why does he tell you a spirit has no flesh and bones? Look, it's an axiomatic truth. Everybody agrees. Whether Hindu, Jew, atheist, agnostic, spirit has no flesh and bones. So why must he tell you that? Because you are thinking that he is. He said he is not that. And he's eating broiled fish and honeycomb. Do resurrected bodies eat broiled fish and honeycomb? Do they? That when we wake up, 
Yom al Qiyamah, everybody eating bone fish and honeycomb. Is that what it is? So what is this? The man is telling you he is not, and you say, no, he is. I said, this is this. The Quran discussed. Jesus said, seeing they see not, hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. The Quran confirms that. It's a summum bukmun umyun for whom lies jiun. Deaf, dumb, and blind, they will not return to the path. If you want to see, the signs are there. This booklet is here. I don't know whether you got this crucifixion or crucifixion. Have you got this? Yes. Now, look, man, the whole thing. There isn't a Christian born. Look, brother, brother, listen. I'm, I'm offering your mighty Christian giants in America meeting in the Madison Square Garden at my expense. You get me Jerry Falwell or Pat Robertson or Billy Graham and I will give you, 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 you $10,000 present. If you can make any one of those to agree to discuss this with me in America in Madison Square Garden, I will give you as a present $10,000. What do you think? Well, how did he end? He is, like I said earlier, there's a point where he was saying, but Jesus himself says, I am my father. I won. I won. When you say, you see, when you are here to the throne, there's a power that is you will, there's a royal strength that you carry. I'm trying to translate it in my own understanding in, in terms of um, royalty now. Okay. You're part of a royal family. Probably in the absence of your father, you can actually, you know, carry out some, because you are the head yes, to the throne. True. So that's what I see. When you say, I am my father, I want, no one can come through the father except through me. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's in the Bible. He might dispute it because um, God doesn't have a wife, God can't have children, and, or that's what most people say. We're not saying he married and he gave birth. He who created, he says he's omnipresent, omnipotent, ever present. He can do anything. Anything is possible. With God, everything mm, is possible. possible. Okay? Not necessarily he had sex with somebody and he gave birth to Jesus. No. That's not what we are saying. We are saying he, if God can create the world, create the angels and, and everything. Even Jesus made mention of the fact that God, there is a God. He's my father. He's in heaven. He's the one that sees everything. Mm -hmm. And when he, Jesus was baptized, the dove came upon him and said, this is my beloved son in mm -hmm. whom I am well pleased. Please. So hear he him. You, 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 you get. So who said that? Are we trying, are, is he trying to say that that is not part, is, that was never, that, that never happened? <laughs> You get so there are a lot of clarifications that we have to. In order that I say me, I would keep searching. I'm not saying the Quran is wrong. I'm not saying the Bible no. is right. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying, for me, I'll keep searching the truth. And for the Quran, I'm going to read. I've been asking people, a lot of people, if you could get English translated Quran, yeah. so I can like read for That's myself and understand. Yes, I understand. That is what I I think I would do that would be my goal for from the ending of this year to the beginning of next year i'll start reading the quran well amazing guys <laughs> well um the last part i don't know he just rounded the whole thing up like i believe like it looks as if the man was convinced enough with the question he asked but if i was in the man's shoes like i would want more proof per se I would want more proof per se, but I don't know, like, I was expecting more, but I really, everything he said was actually right, but I was expecting more concerning the Jesus being hanged on the cross, whether it's true or not, based on what, you know, you Muslims believe in, like, I want to know more about this, what you guys think, but I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'm not expect. Um, I mean, the dad was trying to um, say because Jesus was not uh, uh, raised up from the dead, he should be a spirit and mm -hmm. shouldn't be eaten. You mm -hmm. could see, but they said the, all the miracles that were said Jesus did was correct, right? There were yes. people he raised from the dead. dead. Yes. Even Lazarus, he raised Lazarus from the dead after four days, and he should be smelling, mm -hmm. right? But Lazarus rose and said, living life as a normal human being. He still died later. Like after so many, probably yes, has lived for so many, so many years. years. So yes. are you try, is he trying to say those times he was living, he didn't eat any food? Nope. 
the servant um, that died before um, the um, Jesus came to the centurion came to Jesus, that Jesus spoke and he, he arose, arose again. again. And even the um, widow that lost her, her yes, child his and son, yeah. Jesus, so they woke up, they arose and they ate as they lived their normal life. So Jesus, nobody said when Jesus woke up, he woke up a spirit. No, that's not what he's saying. He said he arose. Like that's why he resurrected. Nobody said he came out as a spirit. Mm -hmm. You you get my point. He arose like after, after three, three days. days. But he said after three days he will rise again. So he I, he rose up as a human being with the same flesh he died with. That was why he was able to show Thomas like look at where the nails they pierced they nailed me with. Look at the holes in my mm -hmm. hand. You get my point. So he. He was eating because he was still carrying that flesh. Mm -hmm. He was not be transfigured. It was until he was transfigured and was, he went up to, ascend to, ascend to heaven. Yeah. So, yeah, that's my point. So, in the point that we were saying, um, he was eating and he's a I, because he's a spirit. <laughs> Nobody said he was a spirit at that point in time. Until he was transfigured. Even the Quran said he was taken with his body. Mm. Yeah, so, nobody, we're not saying he came out as a spirit, no. The people were afraid because they thought he was a spirit. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then he was trying to convince them, no, I am not a spirit. Mm -hmm. Look at the holes in my hand. Yes. Well, amazing, guys. This is really you know, interesting to learn, and we learned a lot from this video. So, guys, this brings us to the end of this video. Kindly smash that subscribe button for more, like, share, and comment, and check out this channel. I'll be dropping it in my description box for more reaction videos. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.